Hello guys, welcome to Datum Learning. On this channel, we talk about data and everything related to it. So today's topic is going to be phase detection. This is the second video in the series of uh, phase detection and recognition. The first video was on the introduction of what we are going to do in this particular series. And uh, today we are going to do phase detection. Let's go, uh, let's get started. So uh, the tagline for this series was phase uncensored and we are going to do phase detection. And this is the photo that we are using today. Okay, so there are actually four steps involved in the uh, Walla Jones paper, I'll show you the paper, just the snapshot of it in the next slide. So there are four steps involved. The first step is going to be your hard features. These are important. I'll tell you in the upcoming slides. The second one is going to be the integral image. The third one is going to be boosting with other boost. And fourth one is going to be cascading. Now, uh, it is very important to understand that uh, I'll be doing, I'll be dealing with each of these things, each of these topics. But uh, this is a beginner level understanding uh, video so that uh, you guys can follow up along with me. Uh, during the coding and uh, uh, and further videos where I'll explain each and every topic, I'll make different uh, you know individual videos for individual topics. Okay, so hard feature will be one video, integral image will be one video, so that you know you are able to understand and grasp the concept at that point of time. This is just an introduction, but you need it. Trust me, you just uh, you need it in order to understand the coding, which will be uh, in the next video. Okay, and as I told you, this will be the image. So the I told you that uh, Viola Jones paper will be. Uh, using as reference and uh, we'll be discussing all of the concepts from there. This is the paper you can go and see but uh, it's really kind of involved and it takes some time, uh, it takes some time to understand. Okay, so what are hard features? Hard features are simply like these. Okay, so what are these? There are some regions where it is white and some are black. Okay, here also just the inverted part of it, black, white, here, white, black, white. And these simple things are actually very important in finding, uh, in detecting faces and I'll explain that why. Okay, so these are four type of features. Uh, you can have this uh, white and this black and again out here, this black and this white. You will have combinations of this, okay? So uh, this was the paper and the uh, image and what you need to do is first you have to change it to grayscale. This is one line of code in OpenCV. I'll show that to you in the next video. It's just one line of code. What you're doing? Taking the image and putting in grayscale. Okay, so uh, yeah, so uh, this is important. What are hard features actually important for? So what happens is you were given this image and you have, I had given you this hard feature. Now, why did I put hard feature at this place only? It is important to understand that uh, for any human being, this eye, the, this uh, black part will be certainly, uh, you know, darker than this part, this uh, nose, uh, the bridge of the nose, right? Why? Because bridge of the nose is mostly uh, brighter than the, uh, this part of the eye. Okay. And actually in this image, it holds for a, a lot of, uh, like a uh, lot of places, like you see, out here this is white and this is black again here this is white this is white. but that is all changing suppose a bald person comes that won't apply uh, if someone is wearing white t-shirt that won't apply but for the eyes and the bridge of the nose it will always apply so that's why it is being uh, kept over here okay so I'll just explain this one too again so this was the eye and this was the filter and I told you that it will come and feature rather it will come and uh, it will detect this as the most important place. Why? This, uh, okay, okay. Uh, remember this thing. Any hard feature will be most activated when it receives similar kind of color distribution, white and black, white and black. So where you'll get white and black in this way, in vertical ways, over here. Okay, it'll get over here also, but uh, it'll get mostly over here. Okay, and same applies to inverted because there are so many half features right i showed you there was also for one uh, cross crisscross also so all of the features will be tested okay where i am am i getting the exact distribution he is saying up should be black and uh, down should be white so obviously if you see our eyes are uh, black and uh, uh, below the eye it's uh, bright okay and this is from the paper itself i took this uh, image from the paper you can see the eyes are black and below the eyes obviously these are brighter and this is for the bridge of the nose. You see both the eyes are black and you have got the bridge of the nose, which is bright. So I hope you understand and we'll be discussing this more in the upcoming videos. So second one is integral image. Now this is kind of uh, easy to understand, but you will not understand right now why it is used. Just you understand how you are doing it. So you'll have an image. Uh, uh, you know that any image is just a combination of numbers. Okay. Uh, in 2D matrix. Now if it is a grayscale gray image, then uh, we'll have 2D matrix and obviously we are dealing with grayscale images right now. So what will happen is, what you need to understand is that every cell 
of the integer this is the integral image now I'll, I'll explain uh, i'll explain how this is formed okay so every cell is basically the summation of all the values on the left left and above of the original image so suppose you ask 12 12 is all the uh, pixels that are on the left what are on the left one four all all these are on the left and above or above okay so this whole four is on the left and on above for this particular six this whole thing okay so if you add all of this for this like four uh, five plus four nine plus two that's eleven and plus one that's 12 so this should add up to 12 and this is how you found and that is the way you are doing for each and every uh, cell and this is from the Valajon's paper only so you can see in order to find out okay what we are going to do is we are going to mark these four points okay so we'll mark this this as one this as two this as three this as four as you can see one two three four and the formula for getting this nine from this image is 4 plus 1 minus uh, summation of 2 plus 3 and we'll see how we'll take 4 4 is this 4 is out here so we'll take the above left right which is d so we'll take 35 we'll, we have the add uh, add sign add 1 1 was this a a is 12 so we have got 12 then we have the minus sign okay then we have 2 so 2 was 2 was there so which is b which is 21 now add sign was there and again we had 3 3 is this you can see 3 here it was and it is c so 3 17 and when you do that you get equal to 9 now you might say okay why you are doing uh, so much when you already have this 9 over here why we are doing so much of thing why are you doing integral image actually i can't explain that to you right now but please understand that you need integral image, uh, integral image and this is the way you are going to find it out i'll explain why you need it and how it is going to drastically reduce our training uh, time okay Be because this is important okay so the third one is boosting with ada boost what is ada boost it's a machine learning algorithm which is used for training so we had this image and we said that this feature will suit here best now it is not you know the feature doesn't know that it is going to the that this is uh, the at this image this is the position where i'll be matching so it what will do it will try at each position so initially this particular feature will be at the start okay zero zero then it move one step one step one step and it will continue moving it will continue and after this it will come one step down again move from right to left one step down so it will scan all the places it will come over here it will find the biggest match so what we are actually what this add boost will do uh, for each feature you have so many positions and then you have so many features so means you will have so many uh, columns uh, features rather uh, because uh, features are actually the hard feature and the position is associated to so one position two position three position so many positions okay if you are not understanding uh, just hold on because i'll explain this in another video just whatever you're understanding keep it with you so what it does is the add boost is it selects features correct har at correct location means correct har that this har will work at this position another har feature like the uh, crisscross one it will not work here it will work somewhere else so it what it will uh, what add boost will do it will find the best combination of feature at the right uh, location okay so approximately you'll have 1600,000 160,000 features plus features okay why because at this position this at this position so how many positions may be possible maybe some in thousands and then how many hard features you know some of them will be there so in total there will be 160,000 uh, 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 features okay plus features rather now all of them will be redundant most of them will be redundant why because at this position you see there is no word in white and black no white and black no white and black only here and somewhere over in this particular part you'll have uh, you know white and black and most of the images will be like that only so what will happen is you'll have a lot of redundant image so you'll be left with only 200 uh, 2500 features okay second add boost is also one it is used to selecting features used for selecting features and second is used to train the classifier now how you'll train the classifier add a boost is a machine learning algorithm so it needs training okay so we'll move to the last part last part is going to be cascading now this is the i think the uh, very easy to understand easiest part rather what will happen is you are given two, 200 uh, 2500 uh, features okay so what will happen is you'll take an image you'll go over here i'll explain this here 
So you are given an image and this is level one. This is this one. Okay. It will take only 10 features. What will take 10 features? Let's see. So these were the features, right? The This har at this position. So what it will do is it will check for that uh, 10 similar features like that. Okay. So maybe a different har at different position, which is important. You know, a har was at uh, was important only at a particular location. So it will check 10 of them and it will give if true it will go to next level if false it will go to uh, the window will be discarded means the whole uh, wherever we are doing that window will be discarded if true we will go to the next level if again true we will go to the next next level otherwise if false the window will be discarded and if it is true we will go to the third level and if it is false the window will be discarded and this will continue okay and this will continue for how many times 250 times why because we had uh, we have uh, 10 features per uh, what to say your level and we had 2500 features so we'll have uh, so uh, 10 into 250 it will become 2500 these were the initial number of features that our algorithm had selected okay if you have understood till now uh, you have uh, you know uh, kind of say more than half of the battle has already been won and in the next video, we'll code it in Python and there are some, th uh, some things that I want to say. Uh, the first one is, uh, yeah, the next video is going to be on the Har Cascade Python implementation. So whatever you have understood till now, uh, we are going to implement that in Python. Uh, secondly, after that implementation, we are going to have Har features, integral image, add a boost and cascading. Individual videos will be made, okay? So don't worry that, uh, you know, uh, I have just slid over the topic. No, I have actually uh, given you the gist so that the next coding round will be easy for you. Then uh, uh, after this, we'll have a, uh, at least this is something that I'm going to try. Har Cascade is just too popular, you know, to be discussed this this much in detail. Or rather to say it is already there so much. So I'm trying to do hard features in a different way so that you guys can understand. But there, is, there are ways that uh, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't found and I'm thinking of using them using deep learning and TensorFlow and Keras. So it will be an amazing project for you guys also to see me code from scratch. And uh, lastly, uh, I would want you guys to subscribe to my channel and I've linked the, I've actually given the reason in the description why you should subscribe, why you should comment and all of that. And uh, we have at least, I think, uh, you know, I should put a, uh, what to say, kind of a target for this video. So I would put a target of 10 likes for this video. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. And uh, please subscribe.